Hey everybody, welcome to Avmax Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady, and today we're gonna to show you how to tie the Sparkle Caddis Emerger. I'm gonna use McFlylon this time around though. First thing that we're using today is our tying hook. This is the TMCO 3761, doing a size 14 today. From there, instead of the Sparkle Emerger yarn that's traditional on this Gary LaFontaine pattern, I'm gonna use some McFlylon. Just find it to be a little bit easier to deal with. From there, we're gonna dub out our body using the SLF, Dubbing, this is the Dragonfly Olive. It's a nice color for the underbody. We're also gonna use a little bit of the Stone Nymph Brown color from Dave Whitlock, SLF Dubbing. From there, I'm gonna use a little bit of Comparadon Deer Hair, and our thread today is a Vivis 10 Aught and Brown. So we got our hook in our vise as we do typically, and we're just gonna start our thread Right there, I like to start it right where my thorax is going to be, just as a point of reference. And we can clip that off and work back to where our first tying point is going to be here, right about that barb. Just like so. Alright, so now that we have that hook fixed right back to where that barb is, we're going to prep our McFlylon material. You can see that there's parts of it that's kind of bound together really well. And so if you take your dubbing brush, you can kind of comb that out and get them to be free fibers, which is what you want for this. And then I'm going to take it and measure a little bit past where that hook shank is. We'll go about two hook shanks in distance back to give us our plenty of room to work with. And then we'll fully encompass that hook shank. Do a couple of quick wraps and make sure that it's all the way around nicely. Just like so. Before we jump in front of it here. And then we're gonna clip out our excess material and clean that up just a bit. Before we go to dub our body here. And for that I'm going to use a little bit of this Dave Whitlock's SLF. This is the Dragonfly Olive color. Let's create a nice dubbing noodle here with this awesome color. So this is a sweet pattern developed by Gary LaFontaine. If you're not familiar with his work, I would definitely recommend checking him out. He spent a lot of time studying the life cycles of caddisflies and, and how they act. Just gonna dub out a nice body here. Quick dubbing noodle. He's even known to wear a scuba suit to uh, monitor how they act, which I think is pretty cool. And in doing so, he noticed that they uh, they develop a big bubble to help shed their shuck and emerge to the surface. And so this pattern is intended to imitate that stage of the life cycle. So I'm just going to dub up a nice body here, good healthy body for this caddis fly. And we'll leave about a third of that hook shank exposed to do the thorax region. That's about good there. So our next step is to pull this McFly lawn or the Sparkle Merger yarn if you're using that forward. And I just like to kind of spread it out all the way around, just like so and kind of pull it forward. But in doing so, I'm gonna intentionally leave just a few strands hanging back as a trailing chuck. You can just kind of check it out, make sure we're all the way around that body. We'll do a quick loose wrap down and then I like to kind of pull the material out a little bit. You can bring your bodkin in and pull them out and separate them out, get them where you want them. Just get that bubble effect that we were just talking about. Doesn't have to be too crazy, just a nice effect of like a translucent bubble in there in the middle there. So that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to secure it pretty good. We'll jump in front 
and a few wraps and then I can clip out that excess material. And we'll clip out that extra material and then I can go ahead and just clip the tail to about the shuck length, that trailing shuck there. Then we can go ahead and just clean up our head here or our thorax region in preparation for our next couple of steps. And the next one being the deer hair. I'm going to use some Caparadon on this. So this is the emergence version. The deer hair is really the only difference between the emergence and the pupa. If you wanted a pupa, you can go ahead and omit the deer hair. The deer hair is meant to just be kind of a little wing coming out. And just a sparse amount. You don't need too much here. Wings or legginess to this fly. And I'm going to go right back to where that shuck ends, just right about to the back of our fly. And then we'll capture that right on top here. And we can clip out, clip out. Well, let's make sure that it's secure. Where we want it. There we are. Clip out that excess pair done material. There we are. And our final step here is just to dub out that thorax using a little bit of this brown stone nymph dubbing. So if you got a nice caddis emergence and maybe the fish aren't quite taking them off the top, it might be that there's so many in this emergence stage that that's where they're keying on them. And this guy could be the money in your bag of tricks there to start putting the fish in the net. So a nice decent sized dubbing head on this guy. Let's leave ourselves a little room to whip finish there. This dubbing is not quite working with me so let's get a little more wax on there. Make it easier to deal with. those picky fibers play along. There we go. There we are. And there's just a quick whip finish. Clip that out. Do a little trimming on this head of mine. There's a nice completed sparkle pupa using that McFlylon material. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us tie in the future, please drop us a comment in the lines below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, be sure to subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.